We have some major stories breaking in the cryptocurrency market today. So we're going to be talking about Ronaldo. We're going to be talking about Binance. GDA6 apparently costing $150. Inflation is biting and also the crypto prices at the end. So what is happening with the crypto prices? Where can they go in the future? What do we need to be paying attention to right now? We're going to be breaking it down. So you guys enjoy the updates. Hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to bring you guys is there's actually some bullish news happening right here. So it says here, Visa payments will rely on multiple blockchains, says head of crypto. So this is actually quite bullish. So for all its blemishes and blowers, blockchain tech resembles an early internet that evolved from obscure to ever present. Visa's head of blockchain, Kai Sheffield, wrote in a blog post on Wednesday. So we see significant potential for blockchain blockchain networks blockchains today share some parallels with the early internet particularly more than their fair share of skeptics hecklers and critics so guys that is very exciting and we also know there's not just you know one blockchain out there guys there are tons of blockchains out there and there is diversity there is competition within crypto but one thing to understand is that visa you know potentially casting a wide net they're commenting as well with our blackrock you know paypal venturing into the crypto waters and i think things are going to be very very exciting so it says here in the future they anticipate the visa payment network will involve more than just multiple currencies and bank settlement rails but also multiple blockchain networks stable coins and cbdc's or tokenized deposits so guys despite the fud in the market right now visa is basically spelling it out in black and white the future is crypto the future is going to use multiple blockchains stable coins coins, CBDCs, tokenized deposits. So are we seeing the early internet and uh, you know which blockchains will prevail in the long run? So you have to understand also on crypto, there's like 9,996 cryptos listed on CoinGecko. You know, which ones are going to make it in the long run? That's the big question to watch out for. Also, some cool news coming out of Ronaldo. So apparently Ronaldo has some potential big plans for NFT. So this guy is one of the most famous soccer players in the world. And, uh, you know, if he brings his fans into crypto, this could be bullish for us. So when Ronaldo was asked if he owns any NFTs, the soccer player answered yes once more with the test confirming his answer again. So apparently Ronaldo does own NFTs and he's also talking about potentially releasing an nft project so again this could be another good thing to tie into the next bull run so if we have a bull run ronaldo selling nfts the worldwide soccer audience you know getting behind that i think that's another bullish thing to watch out for he's interested in the nft market and that is looking exciting right there and uh, have a look at this so into some positive binance cz news right here binance creates smart contract to refund users affected by three million dollar rug pull so apparently there was a crypto called zertum and uh, it actually did a rug pull straight away and the interesting thing about this is they tried to cash out directly to binance so it says here immediately after raising capital project owners orchestrated a rug pull that drains all assets from the zertum contract but all funds were directly deposited onto Binance, prompting the exchange to freeze the stolen assets. No mixer or bridging services was used to launder the funds before the deposit onto Binance. So sometimes what happens in crypto is, you know, these scammers, these hackers, they put it through the tornado machine, which, you know, makes it very difficult to trace the origins of the crypto from the rug pull to the exit point. But basically, these guys went straight to the Binance crypto exchange. Binance did the right thing by freezing the funds. And if they are KYC on Binance, you know, the authorities will have their identities as well. But so potentially not the smartest scammers coming out in the crypto market, but good to see CZ doing the right thing right there by freezing the funds. And he's also been fighting the FUD right here as well. So he says some of our team members are growing into bigger roles, some outside of Binance, some are doing new exciting ventures. I even made intros references for many of them. We are supportive of everyone. We are one community. This also creates more growth opportunities within Binance. Ignore the FUD keep building and I 100% agree with CZ right there so I haven't seen a crypto exchange targeted with more FUD you know more than CZ and uh, CZ of Binance and I think that's the way forward so you have to keep building you have to ignore the FUDders and uh, do the right thing right there and uh, you know people are talking about the US economy and blockchain you know how it is tied in right now what are some important things to understand about this so you guys know we're in a bit of a macro storm currently once we get out of this macro storm I think there's going to be some good catalyst 
to kind of push it forward at the moment. So one thing that's holding us back in terms of prices, a bit of suppression in the crypto prices, you guys can see right here, regulatory dynamics. So we do need a favorable SEC right now. You know, I'm thinking the 2024 presidential race in the USA, I reckon, you know, don't rule out a wild card event happening there. So could we get someone who is pro crypto to be the president? I think that'd be very, very exciting. And that could potentially boost up the macro environment for crypto. And also we have this other big thing. So institutional acceptance. So I have been talking to you guys about ETFs, BlackRock ETFs. We also have some other news as well coming in just recently. And that is ARK Invest files for spot Ethereum ETF. So the ETF market Guys, watch out for this. So I'm thinking more and more of these big companies. It's a race to launch, you know, spot ETFs for Bitcoin for Ethereum because they know there's going to be institutional demand for it. And if that happens, that is going to be very, very bullish. And overall, I still am a believer that we do need a strong macro economy. You know, people have more money to invest in crypto. That's going to push up the crypto prices as people kind of go into the more high reward speculative assets that are found within the cryptocurrency market. And guys, let's talk about this question of GTA 6 is rumored to cost one. $150 per copy. So is inflation biting or what in the global economy right now? So what do you think of GTA 6 costing $150, $150 potentially? Drop a comment down below. Some people are saying this is pure theft. Others are saying, honestly, $150 is fair if there are no in-game purchases and every DLC update is free. So very, very interesting to see GTA 6 come out at this huge price level. And what we do know about these companies is when they know they have a very strong fan base they do tend to squeeze the audience for as much money as possible so this is kind of common in the gaming industry and they're really jacking up the price but it, you know hopefully it should be a good game but you know 150 dollars wow that is a lot of money so things are definitely getting expensive in the global economy and uh, is this just corporate greed as well so it might not be inflation it might be a bit of corporate greed in that one right there and with that guys let's talk about the crypto prices today so some cryptos are going up some cryptos are going down shout out to casper so casper going up in a bearish market very nice signal right there so up 7.4 percent rune up 6.2 percent and if we actually jump over to the bitcoin price today you guys can see we're in a bit of suppression territory right now so i've got the bitcoin price right here you guys can see you know we did kind of pump up to 28k right here but the last you know few days we're in this battle zone of uh, 25 26 thousand dollars right here so 25 26 what could break us out of this zone to the upside you know i'm a believer in events i'm a believer in catalysts so i'm thinking you know etfs when these come online potentially that could be very bullish another thing to watch out for as well macro economy for the us so the macro economy for the us needs to get online that's going to be a bullish uptrend as well and we also want you know changes in the sec so this might take you know a while it could take like one or two years to potentially get a new sec but i think that could be another good thing to watch out for but these types of environments where the crypto prices are suppressed it does give us the opportunity to continue to research. So that's what I think everyone should be doing in the market right now, researching cryptos, you know, realigning the portfolio where it is needed and, uh, you know, getting ready for the next bull run. So guys, I'm staying optimistic. I'm staying long term. That is a look at the crypto prices for today. Appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.